Cappadocia, also Cappadocia, Greek, Cappadocia Cappadocia, from Old Persian, Cappatuka, Turkish, Cappadocia is a historical region in central Anatolia, largely in the Nevsehir, Kayseri, Kursehir, Aksaray, and Nigda provinces in Turkey. According to Herodotus, in the time of the Ionian Revolt 499 BC, the Cappadocians were reported as occupying a region from Mount Taurus to the vicinity of the Euxene Black Sea. Cappadocia, in this sense, was bounded in the south by the chain of the Taurus Mountains that separate it from Cilicia, to the east by the upper Euphrates, to the north by Pontus, and to the west by Lycaonia and eastern Galatia. The name, traditionally used in Christian sources throughout history, continues in use as an international tourism concept to define a region of exceptional natural wonders, in particular characterized by fairy chimneys and a unique historical and cultural heritage. Etymology The earliest record of the name of Cappadocia dates from the late 6th century BC, when it appears in the trilingual inscriptions of two early Achaemenid kings, Darius I and Xerxes, as one of the countries Old Persian Dayu of the Persian Empire. In these lists of countries, the Old Persian name is Haspaduya, which according to some researchers is derived from Iranian Hu Aspa Dayu, the land, country of beautiful horses. Others proposed that Kat Patuka came from the Luwian language, meaning, low country. Subsequent research suggests that the adverb kata meaning, down, below, is exclusively Hittite, while its Luwian equivalent is Xanta. Therefore the recent modification of this proposal operates with the Hittite kata peta, literally, place below. As a starting point for the development of the toponym Cappadocia, Herodotus tells us that the name of the Cappadocians was applied to them by the Persians, while they were termed by the Greeks. Syrians, or White Syrians, Leucoziri. One of the Cappadocian tribes he mentions is the Moschoi, associated by Flavius Josephus with the biblical figure Meshech, son of Japheth. And the Masochini were founded by Masoch, now they are Cappadocians. Aotji, 6. Cappadocia appears in the biblical account given in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 9. The Cappadocians were named as one group hearing the Gospel account from Galileans in their own language on the day of Pentecost shortly after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 2 verse 5 seems to suggest that the Cappadocians in this account were God-fearing Jews. See Acts of the Apostles. The region is also mentioned in the Jewish Mishnah, in Ketubat 1311. Under the later kings of the Persian Empire, the Cappadocians were divided into two satrapies, or governments, with one comprising the central and inland portion, to which the name of Cappadocia continued to be applied by Greek geographers, while the other was called Pontus. This division had already come about before the time of Xenophon. As after the fall of the Persian government the two provinces continued to be separate, the distinction was perpetuated, and the name Cappadocia came to be restricted to the inland province sometimes called Great Cappadocia, which alone will be the focus of this article. The Kingdom of Cappadocia still existed in the time of Strabo c. 64 BC, c. AD 24 as a nominally independent state. Cilicia was the name given to the district in which Caesarea, the capital of the whole country, was situated. The only two cities of Cappadocia considered by Strabo to deserve that appellation were Caesarea originally known as Mazica and Tyana, not far from the foot of the Taurus. <laughs> Geography and climate Cappadocia lies in central Anatolia, in the heartland of what is now Turkey. The relief consists of a high plateau over 1,000 meters in altitude that is pierced by volcanic peaks, with Mount Urchis ancient Argius near Kayseri ancient Kayseria being the tallest at 3,916 meters. The boundaries of historical Cappadocia are vague, particularly towards the west. To the south, the Taurus Mountains form the boundary with Cilicia and separate Cappadocia from the Mediterranean Sea. To the west, Cappadocia is bounded by the historical regions of Lycaonia to the southwest, and Galatia to the northwest. Due to its inland location and high altitude, Cappadocia has a markedly continental climate, with hot dry summers and cold snowy winters. Rainfall is sparse and the region is largely semi-arid. History Cappadocia was known as Hatti in the Late Bronze Age, and was the homeland of the Hittite power centered at Hattusa. 
After the fall of the Hittite Empire, with the decline of the Syro-Cappadocians after their defeat by the Lydian king Croesus in the 6th century, Cappadocia was ruled by a sort of feudal aristocracy, dwelling in strong castles and keeping the peasants in a servile condition, which later made them apt to foreign slavery. It was included in the Third Persian Satrapy in the division established by Darius but continued to be governed by rulers of its own, none apparently supreme over the whole country and all more or less tributaries of the great king. Kingdom of Cappadocia After ending the Persian Empire, Alexander the Great tried to rule the area through one of his military commanders. But Ariarathes, a Persian aristocrat, somehow became king of the Cappadocians. As Ariarathes I BC, he was a successful ruler, and he extended the borders of the Cappadocian kingdom as far as to the Black Sea. The Kingdom of Cappadocia lived in peace until the death of Alexander. The previous empire was then divided into many parts, and Cappadocia fell to Eumenes. His claims were made good in 322 BC by the regent Perdiccas, who crucified Ariarathes, but in the dissensions which brought about Eumenes's death, Ariarathes II, the adopted son of Ariarathes I, recovered his inheritance and left it to a line of successors, who mostly bore the name of the founder of the dynasty. Persian colonists in the Cappadocian Kingdom, cut off from their co-religionists in Iran proper, continued to practice Zoroastrianism. Strabo, observing them in the 1st century BC, records that these fire kindlers possessed many holy places of the Persian gods, as well as fire temples. Strabo furthermore relates, were noteworthy enclosures, and in their midst there is an altar, on which there is a large quantity of ashes and where the Magi keep the fire ever burning." Under Ariarathes IV, Cappadocia came into relations with Rome, first as a foe espousing the cause of Antiochus the Great, then as an ally against Perseus of Macedon. The kings henceforward threw in their lot with the Republic as against the Seleucids, to whom they had been from time to time tributary. Ariarathes V marched with the Roman proconsul Publius Licinius Crassus Dives Mucianus against Aristonicus, a claimant to the throne of Pergamon, and their forces were annihilated 130 BC. The imbroglio which followed his death ultimately led to interference by the rising power of Pontus and the intrigues and wars which ended in the failure of the dynasty. <laughs> Roman and Byzantine province The Cappadocians, supported by Rome against Mithridates VI of Pontus, elected a native lord, Ariabarzanes, to succeed 93 BC, but in the same year Armenian troops under Tigranes the Great entered Cappadocia, dethroned King Ariabarzanes and crowned Gordios as the new client king of Cappadocia, thus creating a buffer zone against the encroaching Romans. It was not until Rome had deposed the Pontic and Armenian kings that the rule of Ariabarzanes was established 63 BC. In the civil wars Cappadocia was first for Pompey, then for Caesar, then for Antony, and finally, Octavian. The Ariobarzanes dynasty came to an end, a Cappadocian nobleman Archelaus was given the throne, by favour first of Antony and then of Octavian, and maintained tributary independence until AD 17, when the emperor Tiberius, whom he had angered, summoned him to Rome and reduced Cappadocia to a Roman province. Cappadocia contains several underground cities see Chimocli underground city. The underground cities have vast defense networks of traps throughout their many levels. These traps are very creative, including such devices as large round stones to block doors and holes in the ceiling through which the defenders may drop spears. <laughs> Early Christianian and Byzantine periods The Cappadocian fathers of the 4th century were integral to much of early Christian philosophy. It also produced, among other people, another patriarch of Constantinople, John of Cappadocia, who held office 517-520. For most of the Byzantine era it remained relatively undisturbed by the conflicts in the area with the Sassanid Empire, but was a vital frontier zone later against the Muslim conquests. From the 7th century, Cappadocia was divided between the Anatolic and Armenian themes. In the 9th-11th centuries, the region comprised the themes of Charshanan and Cappadocia. Cappadocia shared an always changing relationship with neighboring Armenia, by that time a region of the empire. The Arab historian Abu al Faraj asserts the following about Armenian settlers in Shivas during the 10th century. 
Shivas, in Cappadocia, was dominated by the Armenians and their numbers became so many that they became vital members of the imperial armies. These Armenians were used as watch posts in strong fortresses, taken from the Arabs. They distinguished themselves as experienced infantry soldiers in the imperial army and were constantly fighting with outstanding courage and success by the side of the Romans in other words Byzantine. As a result of the Byzantine military campaigns and the Seljuk invasion of Armenia, the Armenians spread into Cappadocia and eastward from Cilicia into the mountainous areas of northern Syria and Mesopotamia, and the Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia was eventually formed. This immigration was increased further after the decline of the local imperial power and the establishment of the Crusader states following the Fourth Crusade. To the Crusaders, Cappadocia was Terra Hermeniorum, the land of the Armenians, due to the large number of Armenians settled there. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Turkish Cappadocia. Following the Battle of Manzikert in 1071, various Turkish clans under the leadership of the Seljuks began settling in Anatolia. With the rise of Turkish power in Anatolia, Cappadocia slowly became a tributary to the Turkish states that were established to the east and to the west. Some of the population was forced converted to Islam with the remainder forming the Cappadocian Greek population. By the end of the early 12th century, Anatolian Seljuks had established their sole dominance over the region. With the decline and the fall of the Konya-based Seljuks in the second half of the 13th century, they were gradually replaced by the Karaman-based Beylik of Karaman, who themselves were gradually succeeded by the Ottoman Empire over the course of the 15th century. Cappadocia remained part of the Ottoman Empire for the centuries to come, and remains now part of the modern state of Turkey. A fundamental change occurred in between when a new urban centre, Nevsehir, was founded in the early 18th century by a Grand Vizier who was a native of the locality Nevsirli Demat Ibrahim Pasha, to serve as regional capital, a role the city continues to assume to this day. In the meantime many former Cappadocians had shifted to a Turkish dialect written in Greek alphabet, Karamanlika, and where the Greek language was maintained Sil, villages near Kayseri, Farasa town and other nearby villages, it became heavily influenced by the surrounding Turkish. This dialect of Greek is known as Cappadocian Greek. Following the 1923 population exchange between Greece and Turkey, the language is now only spoken by a handful of the former population's descendants in modern Greece. Modern tourism The area is a popular tourist destination, as it has many areas with unique geological, historic, and cultural features. Touristic Cappadocia includes four cities, Nevsehir, Kayseri, Aksaray and Nigda. The region is located southwest of the major city Kayseri, which has airline and railway service to Ankara and Istanbul and other cities. The most important towns and destinations in Cappadocia are Urgup, Gareme, Alara Valley, Salim, Guzalyurt, Uchizar, Ivanos and Zelv. Among the most visited underground cities are Darin Kuyu, Kaimakli, Gazimir and Ozkonik. The best historic mansions and cave houses for tourist stays are in Urgup, Gareme, Guzalyurt and Uchizar. Hot air ballooning is very popular in Cappadocia and is available in Gareme. Trekking is enjoyed in Alara Valley, Monastery Valley, Guzalyurt, Urgup and Gareme. Sedimentary rocks formed in lakes and streams and ignimbrite deposits that erupted from ancient volcanoes approximately 9 to 3 million years ago, during the late Miocene to Pliocene epochs, underlie the Cappadocia region. The rocks of Cappadocia near Gareme eroded into hundreds of spectacular pillars and minaret-like forms. People of the villages at the heart of the Cappadocia region carved out houses, churches and monasteries from the soft rocks of volcanic deposits. Gareme became a monastic center in 300-1200 AD. The first period of settlement in Gareme goes back to the Roman period. The use of Koch, Ortahane, Durmush Kotter and Bezerhane churches in Gareme, and houses and churches carved into rocks in the Uzunere, Bagildar and Zemi valleys, all illustrate history and can be seen today. The Gareme Open Air Museum is the most visited site of the monastic communities in Cappadocia see Churches of Gareme, Turkey and is one of the most famous sites in central Turkey. The complex contains more than 30 carved from rock churches and chapels, some having superb frescoes inside, dating from the 9th century to the 11th century. Mesothelioma 
In 1975, a study of three small villages in central Cappadocia Tuakoi, Karain, and Sarahidur found that mesothelioma was causing 50% of all deaths. Initially, this was attributed to arianite, a zeolite mineral with similar properties to asbestos, but detailed epidemiological investigation demonstrated that the substance causes the disease mostly in families with a genetic predisposition to mineral fiber carcinogenesis. The studies are being extended to other parts of the region. Topic. Media The area was featured in several films due to its topography. The 1983 Italian, French, Turkish film Yor, The Hunter from the Future was filmed in Cappadocia. The region was used for the 1989 science fiction film Slipstream to depict a cult of wind worshippers. In 2010 and early 2011, the film Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance was also filmed in the Cappadocia region. Pier Paolo Pasolina's Medea, based on the plot of Euripides Medea, was filmed in Gareme Open Air Museum's early Christian churches. Turkish model and actress Azra Akin took part in a commercial for a chewing gum called First Ice. The commercial shows some of the area's features. In Assassin's Creed, Revelations, Cappadocia is an underground city in Turkey which is dominated by Templars. In the tabletop role-playing game Vampire, The Masquerade, Cappadocian is an extinct clan of vampires based around Mount Urchise. Cappadocia's winter landscapes and broad panoramas are prominent in the 2014 film Winter Sleep Turkish, Kis Yukusu, directed by Nuri Bilj Salin, which won the Palme d'Or at the 2014 Cannes Film Festival. Sports Since 2012, a multi-day track running ultramarathon of desert concept, called Runfire Cappadocia Ultramarathon, is held annually in July. The race tours 244 kilometers 152 miles in six days through several places across Cappadocia reaching out to Lake Tuz. Between September 9 and September 13, 2016, for the first time, the Turkish presidential bike tour took place in Cappadocia where more than 300 cyclists from around the globe participated. Gallery See also Ancient regions of Anatolia Cappadocian Greeks Amaseya Cappadocian Fathers Cappadocia under the Achaemenids List of colossal sculpture in situ List of traditional Greek place names Mokisos Tourism in Turkey Ergup Kondovan, Iran Topic. References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed., 1911, Cappadocia, Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed., Cambridge University Press. Topic. Sources Weisskopf, Michael, 1990, Cappadocia, Encyclopædia Iranica, Vol. IV, FASC, 7-8. pp. 780-786.